Hey, what is up everyone? Danny and Alex. In this tutorial, we're going to look at different ways you can do a non-bar attack. All right, so check it out. So Alex is going to pin the arm and go straight to an arm bar, full speed. Very good. So now let's break this down. All right. So most of the times when a person is on the bottom, all right, in a self-defense situation or even people who are not super experienced in jiu-jitsu, they're going to have a habit of always trying to push you away with one or two arms like this. Okay. Sometimes they might even try to choke you from the bottom. So we're going to take advantage of this in Alex's position. All right, so now from Alex's position, in order to learn how to do the arm bar, we're gonna break everything down. So the first thing is just learning which arm you wanna wrap, all right? So in this case, I'm gonna extend my right arm, and now he's gonna pin this side and bring this palm on top, all right? Now I'm gonna switch sides. If it's my left arm, he's gonna go around his right side, pin it, pin my arm, and as such. And we're just gonna continue this for a few repetitions, so that way there, Alex can get used to knowing which arm he wants to wrap. Okay, now once we have this, the next progression is gonna be to bring your weight off of your knees. All right, so Alex wants to pop up to his feet, so we're gonna feed him the arms, he's gonna pin the wrist and pop up. Now he's gonna pop up on a second angle here and then all the way up to here. All right, once we have this, now we learn to spin around the arm and attack the arm bar. All right, let's stay here, Alex. Get the arm bar here. Now, when we do the arm bar, what's super important are four different details, all right? The first detail is he wants his hip as near as possible, as tight to my shoulder as he can. The second detail is going to be bringing his knees together, all right? So his knees want to be nice and tight. And the last detail is going to be this foot. This foot needs to be very heavy onto the ground, as such, okay? Now, detail number four, once he has the arm, he wants to bring the pinky onto his chest. The thumb stays pointed towards the ceiling, and now he's going to bridge and crank the arm, all right? Those are super important details into the arm bar. Now, the next arm bar we're going to look at is doing that same identical arm bar, but from the knee ride, all right? Also known as the knee on belly. So the knee on belly position will be here for me, all right? So now, what I'm going to do a lot of times, this near side arm, the one that's near you, is going to be extended. A lot of times they try to use this to push you off balance. So what you're going to do from here, you're just going to grip behind. So just get the grip behind the elbow as such. And you're going to grip this in order to pull his arm straight up. All right. Now with the opposite arm, you can also pin the wrist just like we just did. And now I'm going to use this leg and bring it around, just like the first arm bar, across his head. And now when I lie down, I want to catch his wrist and pull everything nice and snug. And watch, two hands on the wrist, and you have the arm lock once again. So here we go, from the knee ride or knee on belly position, he starts to push you, grab just behind the elbow as such. That way there I can control the arm and know exactly where I need to bring my hips. This arm could either grab the lapel or grab his own wrist and just pin it against his body. And I'm gonna use this leg, pass it over, but keep controlling the elbow as such, one, and look, when I fall down, I'll catch his wrist and then I let go of the grip and I'll hold two hands and then you have the arm bar position. From here, you'll have your leg, this one right here, underneath his back and that's fine, all right? The important thing is, just like in the first arm bars, this foot needs to be nice and heavy onto the mat and when you do the arm bar, you pull towards your legs. The next arm bar we'll look at is doing the knee on belly position, attacking the arm, but on the opposite side, referred to as the spin arm bar. So now when he's here, a lot of times, he doesn't have access to this arm in the same fashion as the previous method. So what he's going to do now, if he sees me reacting by using this arm, trying to push his leg off, he's going to capitalize by cupping underneath my elbow, pulling the shoulder off the mat and spinning around to catch the arm bar. So once again, as the reaction is, this hand tries to push. There's a gap there. Watch him how he raises the shoulder off the mat. One, fills the gap, and attacks the armbar. Lastly, we're gonna look at the armbar from the guard position. Okay, so I wanna control the sleeve here. Now this hand will find its way through to the elbow. All right, notice how I use my legs to bring his body near mine. 
That way there I can have access to his elbow. Now, this arm will find its way through on the opposite side of his shoulder. So notice how my arms are Xing in an X fashion like this. Now, the footwork is going to be to bring my foot onto his lap as such. This will block his shoulder with my leg. But now I'm not done. I need to use this leg, kick it towards the ceiling, and also bring it towards his back. When I do so, this brings a lot of tension and compacts the opponent together. So I use this calf against the top of his shoulder as such. So now all I need to do is bring this leg across and heavy to finalize the armbar. So one more time, here I go. I cup the elbow, hold the shoulder, pulse onto him, and then as I turn here, it's very important to use your hamstring and press onto the upper back as such. All right, so it's almost like you're chopping your heel just behind his traps. And now from here, look, this leg will find its way through like a rainbow over his neck. And now I'll hold the wrist and attack the arm bar. All right, guys, so there you have it. Basic arm lock techniques in jiu-jitsu. Guys, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Leave us a thumbs up. And if you are new to our channel, make sure to subscribe for more content just like this one. We'll catch you in the next video. Take care.